Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of Adoraiju Plays Star Trek Online. This time around, we're back playing as a Romulan character, and we are actually going to be playing the episode known as... Let's see, which one is this one? We've done enemy action last... No, sleep is what we did last time. This time around, it is Cloak and Dagger, a tall Shiar raid a colony to find a wanted criminal. Will you help or hinder their efforts? We be aware that a colony in the Delta Corvi system is harboring several fugitives. Among them is a man named Vrimek, who has close ties to the Riemann Separatist movement. The Tal Shiar is going to show the colonists the consequences of treason. You will act as part of the advance force that will shut down the colony's sensor grid. Once that's down, their planetary defenses will be useless and the rest of the fleet can move in. Then we will land a ground force and round up the colonists. By this time tomorrow, this colony will be nothing but a memory. Rendezvous with the Tal Shiar Advance Force and the Data Delta Corvi system, which is located in the Beta Quadrant. Absolutely. Are you going to help the Tal Shiar invade another Romulan colony like ours? Uh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. Your objections are noted. They are also ignored. Let's begin. Cloak and Dagger. <clears throat> exactly what the heck is the Tal Shiar up to this time? We're going to be helping them to invade a Romulan colony, not unlike our own to prove our loyalty to them. This sounds unnerving, but there really isn't much else we could do. So, let's start. And here we are, Cloak and Dagger. Weren't those a couple of Marvel superheroes? Sir, we are being hailed by Commander Levesque. He is the leader of the Advance Force. Put it on screen. Welcome to the Delta Corvi system, Admiral. We are under the gu here under the guise of a raiding party. But our primary objective is to bring down the sensor grid so our invasion fleet can get into position before the colony is aware of their presence. There are a few colony vessels patrolling the area. We need to take them out first, before they can alert the surface of our presence. Once any nearby colony vessels are destroyed, then you can disable the sensor grid substation. I'm sending coordinates for the substations you are responsible for targeting. Understood. Captain, I've marked the two substations we're responsible for disabling on the map. Are we participating in the invasion of a Romulan colony? Helping the Tall Shi'ar? Remember what happened to Viranet? No, I entirely forgot. I'm open to suggestions, but we need to maintain our cover if we're going to stop the Tall Shi'ar. The other Tall Shi'ar ships will be monitoring the sensor grid and colony patrol ships to make sure the invasion isn't detected. If we disable the colony ships and then punch a hole in the sensor grid, we could beam a small away team to the surface without the other Tal Shiar ships noticing. Once on the surface, we can tell the population about the impending invasion. It's not much, but it would be more warning than we have. Very well, let's take out those substations. There's only two of them, really. Substation Alpha and Beta. But of course, <clears throat> we'll have to disable our sensor grid in order to effectively take them out. Disabling some... Uh-oh. That's a problem. Not a big problem, mind you, but a problem. We'll have to do something about that problem. I think I'll just, uh... Hit him with a heavy plasma beam turret. A couple of Navarro Light Warbirds really doesn't stand a chance against us. Not now, not ever. Neither now nor ever! Hey, that's clever! Ow! Okay, that <clears throat> plasma beam turret was annoying. But on the other hand, we definitely have the upper hand when it comes to sheer firepower. Keep firing, folks. Don't even think about what might happen if we lose. Don't even think about your cold into the unforgiving darkness of space. Don't even think about the remnants of your cold, decaying corpse being. Uh oh. <coughs> and that's one to our light warbird who's not gonna forget the assault that he they got this day. Ow. Okay, I'll admit it, that stung, and stunk, but we still have the upper hand. Okay, that's the end of that one. No, 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 don't hit, hit him with the pla- ouch! Ah, he hit one of our guys with the plasma torpedo, and boy, he did not take it well. Boom. Shoot. Well, we lost one of our guys, but their guys took it even worse. Disabling sensor grid substation alpha. Alright. 
We need to take out one more substation before there's a large enough hole in the sensor grid to get a transporter signal through. Right? So, where is that hole in the sensor grid they spoke of? Hmm. I don't feel like dealing with... Uh oh, crap. More of these war warbirds. And it doesn't look like... Hmm. Technically, all we need to do is make sure that they don't... Aha! I think I've got an idea. Take a science team and create a holographic fleet in order to distract them while we do the real danger of taking down the substations. Alrighty. Now, on second thought, I don't like that idea too much. <clears throat> the photonic fleet will still be there, but... We really do need to make sure that they don't realize that they, one of their own guys just opened fire, and we need to make sure they don't get word out at all. And I don't trust the photonic ships to be able to do that as effectively as ours will. <coughs> Let's just uh, punch a few holes in their shields and be done with it. Boom, boom, ba -doom, boom. That's going to hurt you. Forward shields down. Uh oh. Get an engineering team down there, repair forward shields, repair all shields, reverse magnetic polarity in order to heal our own shields, and... Okay, that's the end of that ship. I think. Hmm. Now, it looks like we're just disabling them for the moment. Hmm. I don't like this, but... At any rate, disabling subsystem... Substation Veda. We have a big enough hole in the sensor grid to get a transporter signal through without alerting the other Tall Shiar ships in the area. The crew can keep up appearances here in orbit while you warn the populace. Ready to beam you down with an away team? On your orders. Right. Forrester 5 beam down. Alright. Let's see. We need somebody to warn them. A doctor. A doctor, a science officer, military guy, and an engineer. Yeah, our standard team should probably do the job pretty nicely. Alrighty, we're on the surface. The what the? Tall Shiar ships haven't detected your presence on the surface yet. You won't have much time before the rest of the invasion fleet arrives. Rimek is the Maori. You'll need to convince him to evacuate his people before they arrive. Right. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Where did you come from? Yeah, big surprise. Look, we need to v speak to the Maori around here. Have you seen him? Hmm. Are you Vrimek? Yes, you are. Hey there. That's nice. You're Tal Shiar! Guards! Someone, anyone, look! I'm not Tal Shiar. I'm working undercover for the Romulan Republic. What of Detan's agents? What are you doing here? The Tal Shiar are taking out your orbital sensor grid as we speak. There's an invasion force on its way. You need to evacuate your people before they get here. A Tal Shiar invasion? I feared this day would come. This time, however, the Tal Shiar have chosen the wrong colony. No one will leave this planet alive. What do you mean? Everyone here is committed to living free, or not at all. Um, that sounds ominous. I must arm our final defense. I am ready for death. I have certain contacts among my people. The Remans have become much more aggressive about protecting their interests since the loss of Craterus. We are more willing to use measures that would have seemed unthinkable in the past. One of these measures is Thaleron weaponry. Hidden underneath this colony is a Thaleron weapon large enough to destroy all life forms on the planet. When the Tal Shiar land on this world, the very ground under their feet will burn. A, <clears throat> a planetary Thaleron bomb? You might kill the Tal Shiar, but you and your people will die as well. It is a fair price. I've seen what happened to Craterus and other colonies at the hands of the Tall Shi'ar. I suspect you have as well. Death is preferable to the fate the Tall Shi'ar has planned for us. And without the sensor grid, death is our only defense. We can still evacuate this colony and save as many people as we can. We have to try. I will delay the detonation to give you some time to organize an evacuation. But it will only be a delay. We must detonate before the Tal Shi'ar discover the weapon and attempt to disarm it. I will meet you with the shuttle pad after I am done here. Very well. I'll start the evacuations. Time to leave the office in the Maori and get out there. <laughs>